Hello garden friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rose in the Garden and I garden in Southern California zone 10A. And it is a beautiful sunshiny morning um, here almost the end of March. Can you believe just April is just around the corner. Um, it has been raining. We've gotten you know more rain this season, uh, which is great for Southern California, very much needed. And I've been away for a couple weeks. In fact, um, I haven't been able to get out into the garden to do as many of the projects as I hoped to um, in early spring to prepare for spring and summer. I um, mean, all that goes along with that in the garden. Um, but I have been able to transplant um, a lot of, or all of my seedlings. Um, if you happen to have caught my last video, which I think I posted well over a month ago now, I had shown the seeds I had started back in January, growing them indoors under grow lights. They all have grown into very healthy, strong seedlings, and I have transplanted all of them out into their outdoor garden beds and planters. So I'll show you that in just a moment. In the meantime, I wanted to take a walk around the garden um, as I have been out for a few weeks traveling, and so um, I want to see kind of what's happening around the garden since I've been gone, um, how the seedlings are doing, what's in bloom. And um, so come take a walk with me around the garden and let's see how the garden's doing so far. I have a lot of work to do um, to get things caught up. I do know that we are expecting to get rain this weekend, so I'm not sure how much work I'm going to be able to get done um, in the backyard. And so, you know, I don't know if this happens to you guys. Um, but it seems like almost every season, I feel like I'm not getting out as much as I, you know, really want to with all the projects that I have in mind. And I have, you know, kind of over the colder months indoors, just kind of putting my thoughts and writing together, the plans and getting supplies ordered um, and all of that. And here we are, you know, when it's time to get everything done and I'm just not able to get out as much as I would like to or need to. I have um, my ranunculus quorums that have come in, my dahlia tubers that have come in. Um, I'm a little late at this point, um, for my zone anyway, getting them out and planted um, where they are going to be growing. Um, but we'll see if I can get that done this weekend in between rain, I don't know. So we'll see what, what happens there. Um, but when I do plant them up, I'll be sure to video in case anybody is interested in also doing ranunculus quorums. Um, or dahlia tubers and the other thing I need to get done is um, I mentioned in my last video is the floret original seeds that I purchased from them all the different varieties of zinnia so I'm really excited about that um, to bloom during the summer season so I need to get those going as well so in the meantime let's take a look at the snapdragon seedlings and the sweet peas and I I think that's all. Let's go take a walk and check it out. And uh, thanks for stopping by and hope you guys are getting out into your gardens or um, growing your seeds wherever you are. Um, just, you know, getting out and about um, in the gardens. That's what we love doing best. So thanks for stopping by and watching and let's go take a look. Well, first of all, guys, before I show you the seedlings and start pinching, Let's just take a look at how beautiful everything is looking <laughs> when you don't look too close anyway. I mean, there's a lot of deadheading that needs to go on, but at the same time, there's a lot of color to be shown and shared as well. Um, and the hellebores are in full bloom. Look at how pretty they're doing. When I left on my travels a few weeks ago, I think there were only three blooms and now we've got quite a few there. Looking very pretty and showing off their color. I wanted to show you that. And I guess let's look at the raised bed down below. So here's where I transplanted, as you can see, a ton of the Snapdragon seedlings. I mean, I don't know, probably a couple hundred of them. I guess I need to count them. 
Um, but let's take a look at how they're doing. So I'm gonna just start pinching, I would say the majority of these snapdragons. See how they do. So um, as you may know, pinching the tops of the flower seedlings when they're this young, when they have several, you can see several sets of leaves here so you want to pinch off like the first set or even down to the second set of leaves and that will encourage the seedling as it's growing to branch to create more branches so you have more flower blooms throughout the season so let's take a look at the other seedlings in the upper patio area um, these planters so this this is ornamental kale they were just little tiny buds um, a few months ago now they're full grown I don't know I think I'm going to just kind of plant them out like around the perimeter just to add some color back there in the green spaces but I need to clear these three cedar boxes out I will find homes for these other plants, of course, um, because this is where I'm going to plant up the ranunculus corms. Um, so hopefully I can get that done this weekend. Okay, let's take a look at the seedlings over in this raised bed planter area. So these are just several more varieties of snapdragons here. And you can see they are very healthy. Some of them with several sets of um, leaves so I'm going to be pinching those tops off to encourage multiple branching and growth um, so all right anyway let's get at it let's start pinching Just a real quick walk through and see what's in bloom here. The calipricoas, um, pink lemonades, the eating climbing rose that I deleafed a couple months ago is all leafing out again. So that's looking very nice and healthy. Ready to hopefully start forming some buds for spring and season blo uh, summer blooms and I got a lot of work to get this garden bed all weeded out and so we can prepare for some plantings for spring and summer blooms but it's just nice to see spring coming through Of nice bloom surprises after some rain, sunshine, being gone for a couple weeks, coming home to some nice green, lush plants, and a few blooms here and there. I see a yellow rose over there, begonias, African iris. Copas, which I trimmed back a couple months ago, just kind of flushing out again here in the early spring. And got, oh, this one thing I didn't show you is I had my 
sister-in-law plant up my sweet pea seedlings back here. Forgot about that. So with the intention of as they grow back here in this pot, they can start reaching out to this tree, the potato bush tree that got all cut back. And so I'm thinking the sweet peas can find their way to climbing up and using this as a natural climbing vine for them. So we'll see if that happens. What do we have here? Just some sweet alyssum. And the bougainvillea is in full bloom back here. Let's take a look. So that's looking pretty. Got their red flowers all in bloom all over. And then my secret garden <laughs> that needs a lot of tending to. So I'm going to work back here over the next few months probably to get this all cleaned up and planted in. We had a lot of tree trimming and cuttings throughout the last, um, when did they come? January, I think. So a lot of these trees, as you can see here, have been all cut back and bare. You could start to see some of the leaves blooming out on some of the naked branches. So that'll be nice in the spring and summer to start seeing these crepe myrtles start blooming out again. All right, guys, have a great rest of the week. I hope that I will be able to get back out and get my projects done get the ranunculus corms planted in and the dahlia tubers planted in somewhere and start, um, possibly start the zinnia seeds. So we'll see how much I can get done this weekend. Uh, and by the way, speaking of this weekend, I just can't believe how time just flies so much so fast, but happy Easter everyone. Enjoy your families. Enjoy the Easter and spring season. And thanks for stopping by. We'll see you, I hope, in the next video. And I hope I have more to show you and report on my progress um, and projects. All right, guys, take care, everyone, and happy Easter.